of a different episode this time. I'm finally uh, off the blacktop. It's been, it's been too long. But uh, got some special guests with me on the, on this episode. Not much of a Forby, just a, not even really a day trip. Just going to a nice spot and uh, I'll introduce you to them in a second. So here we go. Yeah, go on, keep going. G'day, Dan here from Epic Drives Western Australia. Out here with the guys from WA Camping Adventures. I got Mitch with me here. And, G'day, uh, guys. Yeah, looking for Pete, but have you seen him? Oh, I forgot about him. Um, Pete? I think he might have been watering the back tyre. Ah. Hey, boys. Oh, hey. How are we going, mate? <laughs> hey, Dan. Hey, nice to meet you, mate. <laughs> Trying to make sure to turn those 33s into 35s, were you? <laughs> Just watering them. <laughs> I wish. Good to be here, Dan. Thanks, yeah. mate. No, no worries. Thank you for coming out. No, so, I love it. Beautiful great. day, isn't it? It is. We've been talking for a while, haven't we? But uh, we have, this yeah. is the first time that we've actually met, really. Yeah, in exactly. Person. It's all been across um, Facebook, but yeah, no, I'm really glad to catch up with you finally. Yeah, no, fantastic. And um, yeah, you guys have obviously been going for a few years now. Yeah, we have. Yeah, a good two and a bit, I think, eh, hey, Mitch? Oh, look, every day is painful, Pete. I try to <laughs> count them, mate, with you, but. Uh, yeah, about two, two and a half, three years, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, Enjoying so. every bloody day of it, too. Yeah. So you guys, really obviously, fun. you were doing stuff, you were four being before that. Oh, jeez, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah since we Our old man taught us how to bloody four drive in a short wheelbase. Pajero. Pajero. Oh, Pajero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, old diesel we, we, learned, we, we all had that as our first car. That's, that's a hell of a childhood. To, to learn in here. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't know that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. It went yeah. tough. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's what, sort of where it came from. Mum... Pretty handy off road too. Yeah. When uh, we upgraded to a bigger Pajero. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was a Pajero. Yeah, we learnt in Pajeros to be honest with you. That yep. was mo most of our full driving growing up. And the, the old man was right, uh, into, right into it, you know. Yeah. So we used to go up north a fair bit. And oh, beauty. That's how it all yeah. started, mate. The love of it since we were young. Yeah. So is it the four wheel driving or the camping? Every, well, I think it was more the four wheel driving, but the camping came with it. We always yeah. were throwing it I mean, the swags. camping, just like any kid, really, I suppose. You know, when me and Pete were bloody six, seven years old, the old yeah. man used to pitch one of them Apex tents in the backyard and <laughs> drag all the gear yeah. from inside out into the bloody... And then we'd get bored before we'd go to sleep and go back inside. Yeah, once we'd, fin <laughs> yeah, once we'd finished all the snacks that he'd given us, we'd bloody <laughs> lay in there just looking at some canvas. Ah, oh, no, we'll go back inside, yeah. <laughs> It's no TV. <laughs> Starting no hearing TV. some weird noises we don't normally hear from our bedroom. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, but yeah, we, we've, well, my first car was a full drive, Toyota Land Cruiser Bandera, four cylinder. Yeah, what a beauty. Oh, love that thing. If I could get it back now, I would. Yeah? 100% I yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah, they're worth a couple of bucks too, eh? Yeah, the old Bandera is yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it, saw a few on the way in, it's on the side. Yeah, that's it, yeah, Mitch is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was my first two-wheel drive Corolla that I used to treat as a four-wheel drive. So th this thing, Yep. when did you get that? I, I Actually, I was speaking to my wife about it. I got this two days after I got married. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is your honeymoon present. Right? Yeah, yeah, 100% it was. <laughs> actually, I got that two days after we got married, but we were meant to go to Fiji for our honeymoon, but my mum got sick, so we stayed back. I got this, and then, well, it wasn't that easy. It's not as I have the money laying around. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had planned it to get then, but um, actually took this down to Pemberton for our little honeymoon. We, we had to get away as it was, so we just went went for a week away, and it was yeah, it's good. But yeah, never turned back. It was stock as a rock though back then. So yeah, yeah, no, I love it. So you've done a fair bit now, haven't you? Oh, we'll, we'll, yeah, um, I have surprisingly. We'll yeah. have a quick look round, but we'll put yeah. the links in as well to, to all the videos. Yeah, you, absolutely. Got, yeah, you've got heaps because you guys you do you do the trips. You film Love those, it. yep. But you also do the reviews and stuff. That yeah, you get. of course. Yep. Yeah. Um, and they're they're good, honest reviews, aren't they? You don't. Got to be, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You start bullshitting people, you come undone, undone pretty quickly. Yeah. I've, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people sort of see right through that. But yeah. you know, you guys are the sort of the 
the actual guys going out. You know, there's no, you're not, you haven't got the big sponsors giving you the oh, stuff geez. to say it's great no, and it's no. they're good on us. No, the only thing we've got are just a couple of nice small Australian companies who just give us stuff and say try them out, and and that's it. And we're very lucky, and fortunate just to have that. You know, I yeah. mean, no, it's it's really good stuff. But we do do the trips, but. You know, it's a lot of time away, isn't it, Mitch? You know, we, we try and go away one one time a month, you know, yeah. Dan, and, yeah. and but the filming part of it's just the most amazing thing. We love it. We're yeah. quite lucky we got our own businesses, so we sort of strategically... Yeah, that's it. Monday to Thursday, pack everything in and then sort of head off on the Friday. And yeah. yeah. Most of our stuff's generally all recorded and sorted on a long weekend. Yeah, exactly. And we got very understanding wives. <laughs> well, you need to, don't you? you yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, my wife's at home watching this, highly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but tell us a bit more about the car, like uh, what I've done to it, type of thing. Yeah, what have you yeah. done to it? Okay, so I've got. I'm just going to quickly try and rattle them off. So I've got the rear drawers, the Drifter rear drawers, amazing. Um, BF Goodrich's 33 285s. So, um, I've got airbags in the back just to help with the suspension. Wow. Uh, roof rack, full light set up, all the LEDs and that. Um, earth track lighting. Awning, earth you. track lighting. Absolutely, I'm going to give a shout out to them. They're a good company. <laughs> um, brilliant lights. Thanks, guys. Um, flares. I'm trying Cut to think snake. what else. Cut snake Cut flares. Snake yeah, flares. he's a bloody superstar as well. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it from all I can remember, mate, to be honest. CB radio, all that type of stuff. But I like my setup to be quite simple, Dan. Eh? Just, um, that's why I got the Land Cruiser type of thing. It's... Simple, I know what's there, not too many electric, uh, electronics. Yeah. And the setup camp have the the basics, and that's about it. Yeah, well, this awning, this is, this is fantastic. Yeah, basic, but bloody strong. Yeah. I mean, I've had that as long as I've had the car. I ordered it straight away, and it's unreal. Mitch, you know, we've had it yeah. rubbing through branches and yeah. everything, but love it. It's been good. Yeah, swear yeah. by that company, Solid. too. That, not endorsed by them at all, but just swear by them. Yeah. Love them. What nice, is it? Nice. Drifter. Yeah, that's Drifter oh, as well. Yeah. I think it's all car sponsored by Drifter. <laughs> <laughs> their product speaks for themselves. Yeah, exactly right. Nice. Yeah. Well, I guess an easier question would be, what haven't you done to it? There's a fair bit you've... Yeah, you've yeah, sort of. It. But, geez, not just the basics, but I think there's two things that I want to get. I still haven't got a winch mm -hmm. and a lift kit. Right. <laughs> I haven't got a, I've never found the need for the lift kit. I mean, uh, my Christmas trip with my cousin, Jaron, he's got a full two, two or three inch lift kit and the stuff he was going through, I'm still getting through it few more rubs and noises but yeah yeah we don't do a lot of just like today mate. work <laughs> yeah we weren't <laughs> expecting a, a four no. trip it's it's semi semi it was it? It, well i hadn't been down that track at all but i'm gonna good. do it again that was yeah, good fun that's right and i you know i always do you know i should practice what i preach because i always say you know i oh, air down it preserves the track and all that yeah. do the right thing the, you know the only times i i seem to air down is when I get stuck. But yes, I think same, that's yeah, same here the, type of thing. Unless it's really badly corrugated, yeah. I'll pull over. That's but, true, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm the same as you. I would have just done that until... If I knew it was going to go a lot further than it did, yeah. I would have let down and maybe... But for bit. everybody else, let down your tyres. Yeah, jeez, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's sensible. It does preserve the track. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, and it's better 100%. for your tyres. I mean, it's... Um, you got your highway pressures on there and sharp yeah. rocks. I mean, well, I know, and you, you're running the gauntlet every bloody minute that yeah. you go up another rock to save you? yourself five minutes. Exactly yeah. right. Yep. Actually, I've got the um, the Storm tie deflators. Yeah, yeah, they're bloody handy, aren't they? They are. Easy. Good. Screw, screw, screw. They count until your kids get hold of one and adjust. Oh them. yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he's, he's running into all four. By the time you come around, the first one's just sitting on its rim. <laughs> Get on your kids. Yeah. You got it you, you got everywhere though, didn't you, mate? It's like yeah. a big tractor. <laughs> yeah. Only had to put the tire back on the rim eight times. In a hundred metres. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now you guys you we talked about your trips, we talked about, you know, that you do some reviews, but you yeah. guys do a lot of cooking as well, don't you? Oh, love you it. You guys love your Well, you don't cooking. get this size without eating well. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that, that, what is that saying about the uh, the chef never, never trust, trust. <laughs> yeah, never trust chef. a skinny chef. I didn't say it, folks. I didn't, I didn't say trust it. us though either. Honestly, <laughs> it looks good. It looks good for yep. the TV. But yep. that's you know. That's people about just, people yeah. feedback a lot on the cooking side. That people love yeah. seeing what sort yeah, of surprisingly. stuff they can mm. do. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Generally, we try and try and like everybody when you first start out camping. It's always typical sausages, steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, exactly. The, the typical spuds in the fire. Yep. Kids got the marshmallows and chips and stuff like that. So you got your dry food, your wet food. Um, but as you go on, that gets boring. Yep. So yep. we just try 
as you've seen, you know, ribs, fish, anything, you know yep. what I mean? This coming up, we're going to try and cook a lot more of what we're catching too. Yep. But we just got to learn how to fish properly. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that. It seems like every video, you're <coughs> off fishing. Uh, it, look, we always put a rod in the car. Yeah, but we, yeah. And but we mentioned that there's that. a rod on board, but. I've got to be honest with you, he's our fishing guy, and I'll say it officially now, he's a great fisherman, best fisherman I know. But we just never give him the chance to. It looks like we're fishing for a long time, but then. So we'll pull up to the beach. Pete will sit down alongside the car, have a beer, <laughs> with his radio on. I'm doing my rig. He's talking to me. I'll go and hook a few into the surf, and I'll turn around. And he's sliding the fridge back in. Come on, Mitch, we're gonna go now. <laughs> Ah, okay. Sadly, that is the truth. That is the truth. Okay, so yeah. I was going to say, I haven't seen a fish yet on there. I did, I did see you, you did buy some. So um, yeah, we, we bought some before, 100%. We caught some red fin and stuff like that, but there's an Exmouth trip that Mitch went uh, with his family over last Christmas. Over Christmas, yeah. It was quite a personal holiday. I know. But I managed to get the cameras out a little bit. Um, you'll but see you some don't nice want to let encounters. it take over, do you? Yeah, that one there, we just... Because I'm terrible, the Pete's the camera guy. I just <laughs> did what I could, so... Up. I'm yet to go around your house for dinner and a couple of stubbies and put it all together. Yeah, no, um, exactly, exactly all the footage. But um, when that does footage. come out, it's going to be quite dated, I think, the footage on there, but it's, it'll be exciting. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. Very so, exciting. But, yeah, um, yeah we Dolly River, we've been catching some fish down there. Yeah, the um, brim, actually, that episode's uh, yeah. yet to come up. We did a little um, fishing competition. Ah. Down there on the Donnelly, yeah, yeah, literally last weekend we went. So I'm, I'm I'm in the middle of editing that now, so should be good. Yeah, so but um, getting back on track, um, the camp cooking side of things, um, we got uh, one of the subscribers that comes with us, Mark. Yeah, he loves getting stuck into his bush tucker. Yeah, um, and he's he's really good at bush desserts, which is something we never ever yeah nobody no. ever thought about he cooking just pick desserts his milk, in the maybe. bush really did yeah. they yeah. when we were younger, but. He's absolutely phenomenal, does a lot of background research into it, and um, I think he even does trial and errors at home before yeah, he brings 100% it to he does. Yeah, but the thing, thing is, we, we look at it. The way I look at it, Dan, is that anything you can do at home, you can do in the bush. Yeah. It's called a camp yeah. oven for a reason, yeah. you know? Yeah. 100% you can. Yeah. So. so Pete brings bloody microwaves and stoves. And yeah. <laughs> so you guys, you... you... When you're when you're going out for these trips and you're planning your yep. your stuff, I mean, if a lot of preparation goes into it. Obviously, you you sort of need to. You don't want to take too much stuff. No, definitely not. So, how do you go about working out how you you know if you're going to feed a whole bunch of people or just yep. a couple of people? What's yep. your what's meal your sort prep, of prep is yeah. massive. Yeah, hundred percent. Meal prep is massive. Yeah, because usually when you start out, you just go and buy every. Oh yeah, I'll eat that. You should never shop at um, <laughs> hungry. They reckon, <laughs> but we used to do it, but. You'd take hundreds of dollars out, and then you yeah. end up going home with you know all this meat that might unloading been... the fridges again back into the fridge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But now we meal plan. I'll sit down meal plan, and then you, we do an online shop gets delivered to us, and then we cook it out there. I, I end up with nothing in my fridge by the end of the year. Uh, and I think uh, I think with us because we're constantly moving. Yes, you're in the cars and we're constantly trekking and filming. You don't always stop and have your meal. Yeah. yeah so you might us. think yeah. oh, I'll have breakfast. I'll have lunch, uh, I'll have dinner. Doesn't always work out like that. So yeah. Pete might say, Mitch, whack, whack half a dozen pies in the... Um, travel buddy, yeah. Travel yeah. buddy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll stop and have them for lunch. You might not stop till 2, 3 o'clock. And then dinner, everybody had this massive feast yeah. yep. organised. But then dinner, you're just like, nah, CBF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah, just going to exactly. do a steak sandwich or something. Yeah, you know, gotcha. you know what I mean? But, yeah. but prior prep... De yeah, yeah, that's the and that saves money as well. Yeah, because true, we yeah. go out so often, then fuel is a killer. Yeah, but if if we can save money on on um, on the food, then hundred percent we will. I think when you're out in the middle of nowhere, no matter what you eat, it tastes better than you. Oh, you, know? you yeah, couldn't be more right there. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, something basic at home is so, you know, like the uh, you know even the three minute noodles. Yeah, you, you know, exactly. Forever. Noodles are amazing in the I bush. Know, <laughs> my wife does this. My wife does this amazing thing. We just you know, it's like a, the um. The breakfast uh, McMuffins from McDonald's, oh, yeah, you know, beautiful. you get the bacon yep. and a bit yep. of cheese and you yeah, have them in the um, alfoil and you oh, just heat them up that's it. each morning. Best way to do it. Best way to go. I, yeah, I remember my father, you're yeah. ready to go. Remember my father-in-law, Kenny? Yep. Um, he used to 
do like a breakfast burrito. Yeah. Oh, and then chuck it on the manifold in the car as we drive. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. One of our videos we do that. Oh, yeah, nice. we hit up the pie. Yeah. <laughs> Pull over, man. It was good. Perfect. Yeah, it was. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. You know what? The pie went well. It worked. Uh, the pie, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100, yeah. Pie yeah, wasn't you... frozen. It was at room temperature out of a Waco or something. Yeah, out of the free In the right. fold, two or three layers. Sat it in a spot just under. Hour and a half or two yeah. hour drive. Perfect. Wow. No yeah. worries at all. Was it like crispy and everything? Like, no, nah, nah, probably not. No. Nah. <laughs> more like a microwave. Yeah, it was warm. Style. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, warm. Nah, it was edible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it tastes like oil. We're not, but, you know, yeah, whatever. We're not gonna let it. It we're tastes better out the bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. You've got your four wheel drive stuff, but you've you've got a fair few um, videos on getting out on a boat as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah we, who's we, the, uh, who's we've the captain. Been, He's the main... Mitch has two boats, or sort of, don't you? Yeah, we, we're I've, halves in our tinny. I've had more bloody boats, and he's yeah. probably had hot dinners, he probably, <laughs> surprisingly enough. And he's probably sunk more than I So is, it, is the same true? Yeah, we don't the... talk about that one, old Bessie. <laughs> we, we better not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. So is it, the, there's a saying, isn't there, with the uh, with boat owners, the two best days of a boat owner's life? You heard that one? No, it's go the, on. The, the day, day you, you bite and the day you get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. B O A T boat, bring on another thousand. <laughs> well, there's the foot disease as well, isn't there? Boat owners have the foot disease. All they want is an extra, another foot. Another yeah. Foot, oh, another yeah. Foot. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well said. Yeah. Right. That sounds about yeah. right. I thought if, the best sticker I ever seen on a boat was this: "This boat runs on fuel, not friendship." <laughs> yeah, that's it, Chip. I like that one. Yeah. That's like it, that that's one. the other thing, isn't it? It's, you know, it's one thing to own a boat, but it's better to know somebody who owns a boat. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Like you see photos of people, yeah, at Yahoo and, and having beers and cruise around on the boat. They don't show you photos of me going home and cleaning it, yeah. servicing it, getting yeah. it ready, towing it, fueling it. The kids want all the extra stuff in there, and yeah. the wife wants this. Oh, it's that, true, yeah. though. Yeah, it's all good it's when true, it's on the water. Yeah, happy days until the motor plays up, which is normally <laughs> once every second trip. Right. <laughs> No, we love our boats, man. We got a yeah. uh, we got a uh, WA Camping Adventures tinny now. Yeah, a good little Pete tinny. Pete gets right in the tinny. I've got a bigger boat, eighteen nineteen foot uh, bow rider. That's so it's a, a family boat slash fishing boat. Yeah. Um, but tinnies are good fun. Yeah, easy no matter to how maneuver, big a boat light, you, you got, can drag them get them anywhere, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah take them. No, how, no matter how big a bloody boat you got, me and him down the boat ramp after work, esky in the middle, go. Yeah, yeah exactly. just so quick, so easy, yeah. so nimble to move around. You can have fun, a couple of tinnies out there, you muck around with each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like with some Crab of the best yeah. afternoons we've had. It is, yeah. Just taking 100%. some of them tinnies out. Yeah. So yeah. you blokes literally are misters, misters. Yep. BCF, really. Oh, jeez. You know, we d- boat you, camping that, fish. Look, he's got the shirt. Oh, that ain't a layer of liver. <laughs> There's actually a really, really bad YouTube video on that. We'll talk about it after. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear about this. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys have obviously been doing it for a few years now, and it's um it's great to sort of go back. And if you haven't, go and watch their first video. Not saying it's bad. It's it's oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. That um, was the last one. <laughs> and the the I guess the, the 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 thing that's most impressive is like you sort of. Your B roll stuff, yeah. As you, as you, you know, you got the drone, yep. and you're talking, but you've got the other sort of footage in there. What's different from when you started with the gear to what you've got now? Oh, geez, I think it's the gear quality now. That I mean, when we first started, I was a hundred percent on a little handy cam. Mission. Wind up, it, snap. Un- <laughs> 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 on really old gear, I mean, I think you can get one of my first cameras for like forty dollars. It's so cheap. It was just something I had laying around. We thought we could do it, so we had a go at it. But slowly upgrading, hey, Mitch. Yeah. yeah I the, mean, now we've even got the, the phones we started with, oh, like yeah. early iPhones. Yeah. Now up yeah. To where they're at now, because your phone's a good asset oh, too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's here fast. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he's the he does everything. I just help him. You're the work. talent. I'm, yeah. Well, look, I didn't want to say it then, but, you know, obviously, yeah, it wasn't that hard to point out, was it? But, um, uh, nah, but Pete does all the editing. He knows all about, like, you guys, I've just been listening to you guys talk about cameras. I would never clue. I could walk into a camera shop and get robbed blind and yeah. walk out with the shittest camera. Yeah, I've probably, right. probably been robbed as well. Yeah, but, yeah. No, but all my stuff I've gotten secondhand off of Guntree, you yeah. know. I'm, yeah, so Bloody so hell, Pete, mate, I'm a normal bloke. We, we just buy stuff as we go. Yeah. Mitch, Mitch has bought cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, so every time I go out, we've just got big grab-me-gear bags now, just full of drones. We've got yeah. two drones, like five yeah. GoPros. Yeah, the GoPros. Ranging down to threes, up, yeah. up yeah, to exactly. five, I think. Aren't yeah, five. Uh, like I noticed you use a seven, which is unbelievable. Yeah. I can imagine the quality you're getting out of that. Yeah. Um, and I think... 
like the first camera we used was just like a little flat part. It was. It was nothing. nothing it was just something you could just press record on and get the footage. I mean, that's all. What he's got now, he's yeah. dug a bit deeper into his pocket. Yeah, of course. Of Obviously course. found but the yeah. alligators, but uh, doing what we love, mate. I don't mind doing yeah. it. I'll save up for a while and do it. No worries. But all. that's yeah. the, That's it. Is I mean, like you get, you don't need. I mean, if you've got a phone. You can start making videos. Oh, right. you, 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 it couldn't be any more right there. Yeah. As long as the content is there. Mm. Well, I know, I know a it. huge so channel um, does everything on one GoPro. Yep. And he's yeah. got over 300,000 yeah. young bloods. He's got nearly half a million. Probably, man. Yeah, he's got massive amounts yep. of followers. And he, I think he's maybe getting... He's got a few GoPros in that now, but everything's off a of GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. He started with one GoPro. Who's this? Uh, Youngbloods. His name's yeah, Brody. Yeah, Spearfishing. Yeah, Youngbloods. Oh, Spearfishing amazing. Amazing. from uh, up north. I, yeah. I'm not going to say where he's from because he never does mention nah, it, so I won't say it. Exactly I that. know exactly where it's from because <laughs> I uh, grew up there, but um, he's amazing. Great down-earth guy with his brother and yep. mates. Exactly what we're doing. Mm. And it's his content, though, isn't it? Yeah, Beautiful and it's content. the content. Yeah. So it's not always his personality. The, it's mm. not always the gear. No, I must admit, exactly. I never watch a channel and go, oh, wonder what Terrible camera that camera. was. Exactly, exactly. I'm looking at yeah. what he's doing, yeah, not yeah. what he's filming with. Yeah. But, um, I mean, the brick <coughs> I used to film with, that was amazing. You could see through the holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were nah. binoculars, bud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they were binoculars. Oh, uh, <laughs> be not. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, Pete's the film guy. He does all the editing, every single second of the editing, um, in his own time because he's got no life. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Camping is my life. <laughs> what do you What do you edit with? I edit with Adobe. Oh, okay. Yeah, Adobe oh, Premiere. Fancy. Yeah. No, no, money. not not um, Premiere Pro. Premiere oh, Elements. Right. Because I've got Premiere Pro and I used that at the start. Found it was too slow. Right. I just want to get the content out there for people to see, and I can do it really fast. Yeah. I can do a full thirty minute video. I think in about four hours, all up. Wow. Yeah, four hours. So I'll do you know one hour a night. You know, and it doesn't take up too much of my life, but it's easy. I've know all the shortcuts yeah. and that, but brilliant program if you guys. Are looking to get into it? Adobe Premiere Elements. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. Yeah, told mm-hmm. you. At the moment, <laughs> at the moment, my editing is my phone. That's all I've got. I, I, I haven't even I got think a computer. You do a great job, man. I was going to ask you actually. No, no, just my phone. This is our interview now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wanted to ask you. You done really well. All your transitions are nice, ah, man. Thank and you your drone much. work, dude. So thank you, thank you. Get on to it. That's uh, that's just with the spark as well, which you guys have got a spark, don't you? Yeah, Mitch. Yeah, we've got a spark. You've got, you've got that two was my entry level. Yeah, yeah. So I, um, I've got a Mavic Air. I uh, love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And you've got a, a, a DJI spark. spark. Yep. Um, mainly just so I can muck around and get things yep. he might miss. Exactly. Because, yeah. um, yeah. you know, as he'll tell you, the massive tip is more content. Yeah, you've got more to work with. So, yeah. like, he might be flying over there, and but then I can throw a drone up and record his drone recording something. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Three. Yeah. Beautiful. But, I mean, I'm it's still just... yet to fly a lot of it. I mucked around in it at the beach yeah. up north when I was mucking around with the kids and that. And a funny story, actually, because. <laughs> This is how fresh I was. I oh, threw it in the air, got it going. I'm like, oh, yeah, mint. <laughs> so I thought I'd, my daughter and my son and my wife were scuba diving and mucking around in the water. So I'm circling them, and I'm like, oh, yeah. And, you know, when it gets that far away, you go for a bit of a ride, you come back. You can't actually see it, so you're just working off the phone. Yeah, yeah. So I've get, I've gone down the beach, and I've got this nice uh, footage of a jet skier towing a tube. Anyway, spun it down, came back, and went right down. To what I thought was my wife. <laughs> it wasn't my wife. So I'm only standing like 30 metres away from the lady that I've just like put a drone in her face. <laughs> Imagine what she must have thought. She just looked at him and I'm like, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Wives, they all look the same, don't yeah. they? <laughs> well, I'll say I accidentally did yeah, that. Who yeah, takes their was... kids to a nudist beach anyway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now yeah, for a better look, will you, mate? Yeah, sh- shouldn't leave them kids in the car. <laughs> nah. But um, yeah, that, that was my first experience. But um, but it helps when we're when we're in two different locations. He was able to shoot over Christmas in yeah. Exmouth. I was able to shoot down south, so it was good. Oh, it was very yeah, handy. Yeah. He has his own set and that. I think you did well, and, yeah. and I hope people like what we're going to bring out there. We're just going to yeah. get together. And like and I said, it. I was only playing around and. Um, no, I think you did well, mate. I didn't pull it out too often because I didn't want to interrupt the family vacation, yeah, you know, with stuff like that. But my wife and kids love it. Yeah. Like, as soon as there's a new video, Dad, you seen it? I'm like, of course I've seen it. I sat down at work and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys are up to now with your subscribers, but you've got you've got a lot. Oh, jeez, I feel like we're bloody still small, but I'll tell you what, that, that, that amount of up. subscribers, that we, yeah, of course it is. We've got some good people following yeah, us, Dan, yeah, honestly, yeah. mate. They're so supportive of mm. us, and it's great, you know. And they pick out our flaws, which I want, you know. Yeah, it's just yeah. going to get us better. So, yeah. 
far away. Oh, there's <laughs> creative criticism, and then there's just trolls. Oh, jeez, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Had them a few as well. of them. Mm. We've had like, them. I think out of, what, what are we up About 4,500 Yeah, now? nearly, Probably yeah. Probably a nudge over. In subscribers, I think, out of, you know, if you're getting 10,000 views, there'd be one or two oh, of course, thumbs yeah. down. Yeah, oh. Like, yeah, that's, I, mean, yeah, you're I feel like we've made two, an enemy somewhere, you know, but we don't know who it is. But, but geez, I mean, we want to make it up to you. Oh, look, I, 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 same thing, <laughs> nah, same thing. I get, I, get, <laughs> <laughs> I get the thumbs down. But if you're only getting one or two out of that many views, yeah, then that's... going to be a hater. Yeah, of course, in, of course. Every, of course. Just... If, it was, if it was more, you know, goods and bads, and like 50-50, I'd, we'd have to change something. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it seems like people Probably like it. Probably your clothes, so... Pete, because you stink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, luckily you it's can't not, smell me it's right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, our subscribers are Good bloody, people. and we've met some really, oh, have, like uh, some of them that we. You do uh, trips, don't you, with your subscribers? Uh, yeah, yeah, we've done one where we've taken Mark. On Mark, us, um, Mark was a, uh, you know, Mark's mainly the one that asked us. We've had a few people ask if we do paid, yeah, 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 paid trips, yeah. Uh, which we're not into yet. Um, because we both obviously work full time jobs, run our own companies. Um, We'd rather just take people out for the fun of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. For now, but but you know, that's something that could it could eventuate down the track. You never yeah. know, you know, if you're stupid enough to pay up, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take your money, son. But no, um, like Fear Factor or something. Yeah, so. yeah, I think it. the only thing that stops us, and I'll I'll be I'll be brutally honest, we like a beer. Yeah. Now on camera, you don't really get to see us unwinding. But you, all, get, you get yeah. the gist of it, I think. Oh, but of course. You get you know, the gist. So, like, if we're being paid to take people out, mm. then it becomes a job. Yeah. Then yeah. then you might balance yeah. on the point whether or not you s- still enjoy it, mm-hmm. t- if it becomes a no, working but, job. Um, I don't know many people that do it. I think that Ronnie guy does it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, I mean, he st- seems to love it, but he looks like his channel's changed a little bit now. Mm. It's sort of opening up more doors, but... Um, Oh, they're very serious, though. They're very yeah, serious very about what serious. they do. I mean, we, we don't like to take things too serious. Yeah. Go and have a laugh. The day we stop enjoying camping yeah, and right. doing what we're doing, that's it. The cameras will go away. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. No more. Exactly. No amount of sponsors, endorsements or anything can can suffice the enjoyment we get out of it. Oh, and if it does start to overlap and it becomes a, an unwanted daily routine or job, yeah. Or, yeah. nah, I'm out. Yeah. But it's so great the way it is now. We put out a video, we get people, you know, great job or, you know change this audio or change that and it's great they're just i don't know good people it it becomes addictive because it's you know you're thinking to yourself wow there's people who care about what we're doing we're just full blokes who are normal guys who like to go camping we film what we do and people are interested in that i don't i don't get it but myself i well i do get it because i watch myself yeah yeah. (laughs) you'd be watching if it wasn't you'd be watching it no exactly (laughs) right so but it gives me inspiration to go out when when i know i haven't been camping for a while I'll watch other YouTubers and I'll be like, wow, I need yeah. to get out. Yeah, he gets like, withdrawals, I, I, you know. Yeah, I do. We're going to go over his house because like... he gets the cold shakes and stuff like that. So. <laughs> they, uh, what do they call it? We all get you in a room. Oh. Intervention. Yeah, intervention. <laughs> we have a camping intervention with Peter. <laughs> Hold on to that tent peg, Pete, while we talk to you, right? <laughs> Grounds me. In one of your shows, Coastal Overlanding, it was in like the, the second one. Yep. Part two. Yep. I put a... A link to it as well but um you had there was a there was a section there like this mud that was just boggy oh, as hell jeez and i know it's featured a lot in like your intros yeah yeah yep. so i think it was the last guy through yep yep who, who was that talk that us was through creeper it? yeah creeper through went through his in his 80 series so he would have been the first guy through too yeah of course he, he, yeah, he, he is, like, he's um, a maniac he's nuts he's yeah. nuts <laughs> he's oh salt lake as well yeah that's him yeah, as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's in yeah. no holes barred he straight bo- ahead full ball yeah, he creates the footage. You were the Holland Track guy. The footage that was good footage. But, um, but yeah, go on. Sorry. That um, that mud hole was that. There's actually a wicked story behind it. We'd come. We're in winter time, so we were all able to get a week off. So myself, Aaron, and Kreber went out, and that was on our way from Palin up to Reef Beach, and we'd gone through all these mud puddles beforehand and Kreeb was the only one who had the winch and we are going through and it was getting a bit more sketchy so we got to this last bit and I looked on the hema and, and there was a smooth, you know, it was smooth sailing after this last mud puddle and, you know, I would have been stuffed if, I got, if I'd gotten stuck through that so what happened was we said, look, instead of going back, we'll just do it, let's just hit it. Aaron got bogged straight away, back, back out, took another line and got it and he goes, oh, look, it's getting soft as you go through. Um, you should be alright if you nail it. 
Anyway, yep, nailed it through with my, I just gave it everything the cruiser had got and there was a spot there where you can see it sort of just sinks down and then, yep, all of a sudden I grabbed traction and what a beautiful feeling of euphoria. Oh, just an amazing feeling. You just, it brings everyone together. But And then Creeper come through at the end, that big, heavy 80 series, floated on through it like a boat. It just, on the on the way out, just it, it was just sitting in a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Beautiful, but nerve wracking oh, because yeah. Kreber's winch ended up stopped working. So even if we did get stuck, we'd have been buggered. So yeah, a little bit foolish, but God, it was good fun. I think you haven't <laughs> been four wheel driving unless you've been stuck somewhere like that and had to oh, get out oh, in the mud oh, when it's cold. Definitely, and God. just get absolute. And then you, you, well, you you're not at home, then, so yeah. you're camping. <laughs> You on your first day, first morning, oh, you know, geez, that mud's, yeah. that's there. For, and then washing the car. Oh, that's see, that's one thing. I hate mud. I mm. hate mud, so I just hate cleaning. I'm still cleaning yeah. mud. Yeah, yeah, we normally get to like track. a mud pit, and then you just part way for Kreber. Yeah, because he loves <laughs> it. Kreber, he just, yeah, belt he bounces, just, Because it's not his daily, pig. you know? <laughs> yeah. He's a mud pig, loves it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's not his daily? No, oh. not his daily. That's why yeah. he just treats it like it's a... Uh, it's like a pig, like it <laughs> doesn't even care Don't about it. Yeah. He drives it like he stole it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but um, not his daily, so he can just leave that in the driveway. But he's so he's... handy too. If, if anything breaks on it, he pretty much. Oh, he's a genius. He he'll rip yeah. it apart, and fix it himself. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. yeah, I think he does everything that's not a, except electrics. Yep. Um, and a great guy to have on a trip because yeah. he's the first yep. dude that's under your car. Yeah, helping. Yeah, yep. snatching when up, something breaks, putting snatch blocks in, and yeah. The amount of times I reckon I could. I've forgotten. Well, he'll go through a water crossing or something to test it. Like most of us <laughs> test it with sticks. Yeah. No. He tests it with his car. Yeah. And then opens his doors at the end and just lets all the goldfish and that go back into the. Yeah. yeah it doesn't care. I'd be crying. I'd so be bloody yeah. crying. He's obviously not here. And there's, is there more of you? Who, who's in your. Uh... The main crew would be uh, myself and Mitch from the very start, the X Mouth video, the Hills video. That was. we. You know, we concentrated on that, didn't we, Mitch? And then and Kreber's just been there like w w one episode after the other. Um, it'd be me, you, and Kreber, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, there's uh, three Wagga. majors, and then there's a few guys that uh, always like behind Wagga, the scenes Gary, helping out. Yeah, Ricky is starting to see a lot more of Ricky. Mark's starting to see a lot more of Mark. Yep, um, that's the main crew. There's a few that floated in and out. Yeah, Colin big. and Aaron floated in and out. Yep, um, lost a bit of interest there, I think. Yep, you know, which I don't blame him with our humour. <laughs> um, True that. But yeah, tight knit. Um, three or four of us. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Like I've been friends for years. Yeah. For years. All, all, all we've been doing is what you see on the video. Just yeah. full driving, checking out new places. Just don't want to get bored, it's, mate. It's the best sort of um, excuse for blokes to hang out, isn't oh, it? One hundred percent. Round a fire, beers, done. Yeah. That's yeah. a night. That's a beautiful night. That's yeah. my favourite night. And then, you know, there's there's people I guess that are probably interested in the idea. Yeah, and may have done it when they were kids and that sort of, of thing. But then they, it's it seems such a big effort to go it does, and, doesn't and, it? and stay somewhere for the night. Yep, and I guess a little bit intimidating <laughs> if you're not as well. Set it up. is, it and, is, yeah, because I think they need everything. But there, yeah, there's gear. Yep, and then there's the gear that you need, isn't there? There's, oh, there's, acts, there's, there's not a lot. I mean, I, I reckon in the future I'd like to sit down with Pete, put the camera up. Yes, even if we could get a budget or a sponsor. <laughs> Um, I reckon two, three hundred dollars. I could go into a camping store and itemise everything you would need for an overnighter beginner's pack. That is a that's a yeah. really really good idea. Yeah, for I, uh, I reckon it like have a to be expensive. Tarp, yeah. uh, a tent because you don't need yeah. swags no. and no. you know it all depends on what sort of camping. Yeah, but I know so many people and you see it all for sale that go yeah, out. That's right. Yeah. Buy all this camping equipment, go for one night, realise the kids don't like it, the wife doesn't like it, and yeah. they didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> and they sell all their gear at half price on the bloody marketplace or yeah. gum tree or something. And that's where the deals are. <laughs> yeah. See, I think How many times do you see them little butane burners for sale? Oh, Use jeez. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it, 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 yeah, I mean, I guess you can get unlucky because if you have that one bad experience, especially four wheel driving, if yep. you bought like a brand new four wheel drive, oh, of course. And yep. you don't really understand what yep. you're doing. And you go out and you either get stuck or, you know, oh, the worst thing, you do some pain, damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for you, isn't it? That, no, it is. It know, would turn, turn you off. off. Yeah. But something like that, in, on the other hand, I love it. You know, the yeah. feeling of getting out is oh, yeah. such a, you know, you, you get closer with your mates like that, yeah. you know. They're, they're, they're in there, they're under the mud, they're helping you out and you're sort of like high-fiving when you get yeah. out and it's like bonding. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it's, it. 
There is no, there is no off for me. Anyway. You've got to be in it to win. There's no better, yeah, you gotta no love better it. sort of uh, adventure, isn't it? I mean, it literally oh, it is an adventure. It's yep, more absolutely. than just a trip. It's, uh, and that's what I think when you get back, you might have all these things happen. You know, we've all been stuck somewhere like on a beach or somewhere for like hours yep. trying to get oh, out. Of course. And at that time, you're like, this is this is crap. You know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know. Oh, but you get, get home, out. and especially if you're getting oh, the footage, yep, you start definitely. putting the footage together, <laughs> and then it's like you forget about that, how you were getting sunburnt and sweaty and. Yep worried that you're going to be stuck there forever and, and you're kind of keen to get straight Ex- back out and go oh, get yourself you, stuck you, again. You, you get the same feeling I do. Yeah. It's like you want to get back out there with your mates and do it again. Yep. Mm. It can oh, only get oh. better by getting stuck and stuff exactly. like that. Yeah. You know I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You go yeah. out camping, you realise, oh, so-and-so's got that. That looks like that made life more comfortable. I'm going to get one of them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, because yeah. your, your first ideal camper doesn't buy a Engel, a Waco, no. yep. anything like that. They'll buy an Esky. Cheap yeah. Esky. Uh, yep. Have their meat pats sitting on ice. Yep. Still got the Esky. Um, yeah, have your meat yeah, floating so, in ice by yeah. the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know what I mean? It, it all comes down to how you want to do it and how often you want to do it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 If you make a commitment to do it like, like we have since we were young, yeah. we've just slowly upgraded our mm. gear. To it doesn't come and... overnight. You can, I don't, Jeez, well, no. you know, most of you people Unless probably have rich. got money. <laughs> yeah, if you've got the money, it does come overnight. Yeah. You can rig it up. And yeah, you'd absolutely. be the guy we call um, all the gear and no, no idea. idea. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Mate, every month a two hundred dollar bolt on or a you know fifteen hundred dollar yeah, bolt it. on or something, it you know it takes time. Oh yeah, yeah, and research and you can't just go and buy a fridge because it might not be your style of fridge. Mm-hmm. It yeah, just definitely. That's a good thing about uh, people that go camping with me and Pete. Me and Pete haven't got the exact same gear. Mm-hmm. I had different drawers, different fridges, different yep. interior car. Uh, I had a six cylinder turbo diesel. Pete's V eight. People can, people, the amount of times we pull up, set up, and then people just gravitate towards our setups and go, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Yeah. And I do it with other people yeah, as well. Yeah, same so, here. Yeah, gain ideas um, off yeah, of them. Yeah, so you just, you know, gauge off what they got and what you think would suit you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah exactly. These days it is becoming more and more expensive. There's a lot of options mm. now, isn't there? I mean, oh, it's like, even if you go in for like, um, well, you look at awnings. Oh, yeah. Rooftop yeah. Tents. 100 bucks, $100. The thing that I've found as well is, yeah, people, like you said, with the money, they might buy everything and i think this is typical of a lot of full drivers is you have all this gear and you start to sort of not take stuff don't definitely you? Cult. you know i reckon if you, you if you haven't taken it on the last few trips don't bother because it's weight oh, and dead it's on. Yep. extra stuff and there's something or to you be buy said a bigger roof rack so you can fit it all <laughs> <laughs> There's something to be said though about a swag, you know, just yeah. a swag and you know the basic stuff. Because then, like like you guys got with your boat, you just chuck it in and off you go. Yeah, if definitely. you've got like all the gear, you have got all the comfort. Yeah, and it can be a, a chore to pack. Yeah, it can be a chore, oh, to pack, and yeah. that can turn you off. With me, I throw my swag in, turn my fridge on, load my food in, off off I go. And so what about tracks? Certain tracks to... restricted then, because if you've got it, really oh, exactly. intent, well, not. I mean, I never go on anything extreme. I'm not an extreme fool. I don't want to kill my car. Well, you were this but, morning. Well. <laughs> But I mean, I guess there's, there's, there's levels, isn't a business isn't car. For, for people who who don't four wheel drive very much, it's like a you know, a rut of dirt tracks, pretty extreme. Yep. But you know, where I'm talking like you know, power lines. I don't go up there every weekend and try and. No, so yeah, and I wouldn't uh, even at the like I'm not at any good level, but I wouldn't go up there at the level I'm at now. That yeah. power track. <laughs> That power line your train, car, you don't take a four-wheel drive there unless you hate it. Yeah. 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 Or you're expecting damage. I mean, we're more into sort of Mitch, if you'd agree here. If we have to extreme full drive somewhere to get to a beautiful spot, yeah, beautiful, throw it at yeah, us. There's a reason, it. yeah. Prep, but that's, you that's why you call it, it touring, don't you? Mm. You prep for it, all your safety procedures are in place, yeah. you've got people on standby, we've got two ways. We're well prepped for so all... So safety is where you just put your beer down, isn't it? Just hold my yeah. beer. Yeah. Hold, yeah, get the, yeah, get hold my beers. <laughs> Seatbelt off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shirt um, off, seatbelt yeah, off, hold my beer, let's in, go. Sit down, <laughs> shut up, hold on. Um, but I mean, like when we first started camping, Pete, we used to go with two-wheel drive during Bay when we used yeah, to do the boys' yeah, trips. Yeah, definitely. We had a Corolla that pulled in yeah. there. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've heard a few people that started yeah, cool. their four-wheel driving career with, for a long time yeah. in just a car. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You Whatever the gets you out there, man, yeah. you know. Don't be, like, don't be an idiot. You go to, you know, the Holland track on a Corolla. But there Corolla. is one in the middle, isn't there? Did What's you, that? Did you see that on the Holland track? There's a car in the middle. Ah, uh, yeah, at the sign-in box. With yeah, the, the, yeah. Who's yeah. all the bullet holes? There, <laughs> yeah, was there a Shiwi in the in the? Um... Oh, I didn't even. Oh, oh, no, no, not not where we were. You know, we, left, we left a can of export in one of our stubby holders. Oh, good on you. Yeah. yeah. And then the next There's video a... we seen released after we'd been, that yeah. was gone. Oh, oh right. I'd love to know who got that. 
I really oh, would. yeah, hopefully one day they can. If I you're out there and you're watching. Yellow yeah, WA yellow Cam, Cam, Cam Avengers. With a can of um, gin, I mean, <laughs> Emu Export. Um, Gin's, uh, that was us yeah. for the next car through. Yeah. There was, I think somebody left a bottle of Carlton Dry there. Yeah, and there was also a Great Northern. Yeah, and we politely left them there for the people that needed it. A bit it's more nice because the box was originally there. For oh, like, yeah, I love that. I don't know, it was an amazing moment to pull it's up good. to that. Yeah, but I, th- I think as well the box is kind of like someone might have had the idea of, oh, in that way if you've got any spare emergency supplies. But yeah, just, that's it. It's yeah. beer now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but that is the most important. That is an emergency. In the, when, when hot in, beer. Oh, when you're Go in the middle of... People's uh, driving you know. there every week just to pick up noodles and beer. <laughs> so it's better than drinking your own pee. The bear grills, 100%. Sort of stuff, well, I don't yeah. know. I've, I've tasted that yeah. export. <laughs> I'm just going to upset a lot of people to imagine that. it could be any worse than that. <laughs> oh, mate, no, nah, not even. Nah. Well, Carlton Mid, that's. Oh, God. Yeah, mid water. for a start. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are you even that? <laughs> Who are you? So, uh, I hear you selling your, your car. You sold your car? Sold. Gone. Sold. So I feel bad because the young fellow that bought it, it bloody blew a front diff straight away. After oh, three well, off-road trips, how can apparently. You, how can but, you um, feel bad about that? But yeah, oh, you can never hear any, see anything like that coming. Yeah. But um, sold that. That was a good rig. I had that yeah. really well set up. The 105 series, six on the aftermarket turbo. Yeah. Uh, that was really well set up. I spent some time setting that up the way I liked it. Um, gutless. Mm-hmm. It was just gutless. Like you got Pete hitting dunes. I mean, it went everywhere. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, but, like, towing with a headwind, just even, like, a tinny or a small boat, it just had no... Over- mm-hmm. It was dangerous. So if you, you didn't really needed overtaking lanes and had to get a jump on the thing that you're overtaking to overtake, it was just... had no balls. Mm-hmm. Um, but reliable, turnkey, everywhere you go, go yeah. it'll go around Australia ten times. So you're you're no no Forby at the moment? No. I'm forby less. I've got a little <laughs> Ford Courier. Um, work. A, yeah, a little work car. four-wheel drive. Um, but that, I don't think we've ever locked the hubs in on that. Um, and that's a little four cylinder cutie. Um, we're, I've, I've got a small operation coming out. Once that's done, we're going to go full drive shopping. Um, go on. What are you getting? What do you want? I'm hoping to get a, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little Sierra, mate. I can see him in that. I'm, I'm hoping to get a Volkswagen Beetle. Right. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> have you seen the Vitaras? Yeah, yeah they're gorge. Yeah. They're gorgeous. <laughs> I like the Volkswagen because you get that flower on the dash. <laughs> <laughs> dream catcher. Uh, no, I am. Hopefully, look, could be a dream. Depends where the finances allow. I'd like to get a two hundred series. Ooh. Um, Son of a gun. But I'm still been looking at dual cab utes. Mm-hmm. Can't pick them, but I just can't stay away from Land Cruiser. Mm-hmm. Just I've always had Land Cruisers. Yeah, Yodas. Yep. Uh, and just they've been so good, and I've always resold them. I'd like to buy my old bloody Ute back. Yeah, 75 um, series. Yeah, because yeah. I built that from the ground up again. Oh, it's beautiful. 200 series. Yep. Hopefully. Um, I don't want one of these. It's that easy. It's that easy, guys. Hopefully. 200 series. <laughs> yeah, oh, it'll be a Povo pack with 400,000 Ks on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got one. <laughs> um, and it's been rolled. It's at the records. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Might be a dual cab then. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the only reason I don't want one of these is because I want cruise control, automatic, and power windows. Right. Oh, you sissy. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody As sissy. As you can see, I do That's it. That's true, I. though. Yeah, it does get uh, a bit of I mean, you'd like cruise control, power windows. Oh, definitely. My next upgrade will be a 200 series, but yeah. not until, not for oh, a actually, few years. Oh, actually, I might yet. hang on then. I might be able to get this cheap enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flog it out before then. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're shopping at the moment. I mean, it could be anything. Yep. Two hundred series is the top of the list. Dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, under that, on the lower half of the list, is probably something I'll end up getting. But I mean, I've been looking. I had a work car in Navara. Mm-hmm. That was so nice. D forty. Wow. Yeah. And I'm normally yeah. anti Nissan, but yeah. that was so good. The STX. Uh, Navara drivers are. They love them, don't they? I've oh, known a few. I had a yes. Navara before this. Yeah, yeah, D40. Yeah, Navara yeah. was really. I had a petrol four four liter. Uh huh. That thing was ballsy. Yeah. Jeez, but the fuel gauge went down. Yeah. Right. Um, I looked. I've looked at the. I, I borrowed a Hilux last week for the uh, Donnelly River trip. Yeah. Really nice car. Um, exactly the same as yours. Oh, Too small the, for me. Not the um, not the new one there. 2.5 or whatever. The 2.8, 2. I looked 8. at them. These are the three liters. Apparently, they're the better motor, the three liters. I th- yeah, yeah. I haven't driven the 2.8 yet. There's a lot going on at the moment, I think, with the 2. I don't know enough to, to yeah, yeah, legitimately so, comment, yeah. but so, yeah. um, I've heard I've heard a few 
a few rumours about them. Um, but yeah, you, you, I mean, I'm not going to rubbish my car. But... Yeah, no, no, so I borrowed no, one pretty much by... the same as yours, the Hilux 3 litre D4D or whatever they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that went really well. Zippy, as soon as I put a trailer behind it, gutless. Yeah. yeah. It, it just four cylinder. Yeah. Um, but it did everything. Really good on fuel. Yeah. Um, he had a long range tank, and but um, mm. yeah, it's a nice rig actually. That, 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 that was a nice rig. So that's Ricky's. You would have seen him on some trips with us. The white yep. one. I borrowed that. Um, beautiful car. I would buy one. It'd have to be automatic because mm-hmm. apparently they're a little bit more uh, for what Zippy. I use them for anyway. Automatic would be my way to go. Too small though. A mm-hmm. family of four. I just yep. might, you know. I just we are too. We're a family of four. Yeah. Um, How do you go? I've no, got like like a dog as well, yeah, like so we good. try our dog in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There's not, there is, I mean, it looks... Going it looks from a 105 spacious, Series Land Cruiser yeah. to a Hilux, it was just pretty... You've got the tray, yeah. but unless you were to, you know, have a sort of sealed tray on it... I definitely would, yeah. So the back would be the camping setup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I've done a lot of research, and the Ford Ranger wall tracks seem to be the... Yeah. ...the go-to, value for money, bang for buck, off-road ability, on-road ability... That, and I heard the new Amarok's are nice, but I don't justify paying that for a V-dub. Yeah, Yeah. but they're meant to be bloody nice. I don't know. I've read nothing but good things. I did a lot of research. So the Mazda BT-50s are a five-cylinder six-speed. Good on fuel, apparently. That's the only good thing about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Sorry, Buck. Yeah, sorry, Buck. Mr. Buckaroony. (laughs) Um, But I think once you've been brought up and you've bagged out Nissans for so long, it's embarrassing (laughs) to go to something else. Other than a Land Cruiser, so look, at, I could end up back in a bloody hundred. See, I like a hundred series V8 Sahara. Mm-hmm. I've looked at a couple of them, you know, with low K's, and could be anything, mate. Yeah. Well, we'll stay tuned. Stay yeah, tuned. Soon Probably going to be a posty bike. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite four wheel drive trip so far? Oh, geez, Walpole for me. Um, one year ago, where it was me, you, and Cre- uh, me, you and Creeper. Yep. Um, loved that it. Was, that was, Absolutely loved it. Went down near Walpole. Trip. Come, come back so we went, Crater went for a dive on that beach. Yep. Yeah, yep. that was a that was a good. good I'd have to say that'd trip. be up there for me. Um, yeah, I'll say that one as well. That that, that was good. Uh, also, there was another one that we did down with uh, Wagga's boss came with us. Uh, Belvedere Beach. Belvedere Beach. Yep. We did. We went in. Where is it? Um, Buffalo Beach Road. Yeah, and, and then, then came worked all our way, way back, back up back the down. White Hills. And all the way along, we were just stopping for a swim, oh. lunch, cruising. Um, and at any point where you wanted to camp, you could just pop behind the dune. There's yeah. so many tracks. Ah, yeah. Didn't yeah. film, but it was just one of those Didn't trips film, where we yeah, went but it was, it was let um, loose. Oh, that, that's a very hard question to answer, but I'll say, yeah, oh. mostly south. Everywhere yeah. we've gone south. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No, that'll be... I'm going to have to lock that answer in, but, God, Dan, that X big Mount was a great trip. Yeah. Big yeah. Quarren. Beautiful spot. Beautiful. X Mounds was a great trip. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, but too hot. We yeah. camped in the mangroves yeah. and like we weren't prepared for 47 that. 47 degrees oh, when we were yeah, setting up. Heat. And this awning flew over the top. And I was just about Sand ready to flies. jump in the car and head back home. Yeah. <laughs> the best part about that was um, when we stopped at Kelberry on the way oh, home. Oh, mate. Yeah. We awesome. got a powered site, a bit of grass. Oh, heaven. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Now, Kelberry's beautiful. But yeah, too, yeah, I'd say Walpole was a really good trip. Yeah. Now, I, think we, I think a good trip comes down to. The time of year and the temperature you get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if, if you definitely. get that weather that works for mm-hmm. your body, or you know how yeah. some people prefer heat uh, in between or cold, yep. it just worked. That's a really important factor in the time of year that you go because some places, yep. yeah, like obviously south north Snowy during winter, it's just too bloody. Yeah, yeah, south cold. south you got the cold, but there's plenty of people don't don't mind the cold. Yeah, I'd say I don't oh, mind I love it. it. Love yeah, the cold, I mind yeah. It. yeah. But then there's ridiculous, you know, there is sub zero yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. When you can't uh, set yeah. a swag up because it's just hammering and, hail. Well, yeah. being Australian, we're not ready for that, are we? We nah. think, oh, it's bloody nah. cold. It's you know, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Fong's we, still on. Yeah. no worries. <laughs> but we, we whinge at that. But then, yeah, uh, and and obviously, yeah, like places like up north, you've got you know cyclones and stuff. Oh, so yeah, obviously, there's those times. That, but yeah, you're right. Like you can go from um, having a place that's beautiful, but just the, if the weather matches it. It just makes it. Oh, it? you're so right. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Donnelly yeah. Rivers turned out to be a good trip oh, too. One of my favourites. We're going to revisit that probably once a year as well. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Cool. Yeah. All right. So hairiest moment so far. Ooh. Wasn't on film. I'd say Bryce's recovery. Oh yeah, that was years ago. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was never on film. That, that was not far you... from here, Mount Dale. Yeah, oh, Mount yeah, Dale. Mount Dale. Um, yeah, yeah, at the back of that. Uh, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. The Bibbulmun track's right near there too, it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yep, it is. It yeah, is. Probably oh, jeez. That one wasn't on camera, and that was just basically, I'll tell you what happened. We sort of went down an embankment. It was uh, gravel. 
and the car just kept going. Yeah. And it was oh. never going to come back up. That right. we actually left the car there overnight. We and went come back with hand winches yep. because his uh, worn front mount nine thousand just wouldn't get yeah. it up this hill. It was like that, and we probably got that it stuck insane. down about a k. Oh. A it was meters. a long day, was, Dan. We uh, went, so we, we came out, out the next there. day with winches. Sunrise, yeah. That uh, Arvo, yeah. We, when think, we left it, that Arvo. We yeah, that night we left winch. it there. We marked it. We nobody. Hey, listen. If you could get down, you couldn't even walk <laughs> down there. It was just that bloody steep. Yeah, um, we came back the next day, and I think it was seven hours. Mm. Yeah, with hand winches and a day. winch, um, filling up holes, digging to get this car out. That wasn't on camera. No, that was years ago. The one that was on camera, I'd say, was was a little bit panicky, was that mud pit. Right. Yeah, yeah, that was a bit hectic. Go on. (laughs) Are you talking about the salt lake? Or which mud pit are you on? Yeah, the salt lake where we all got stuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that is on camera. That was, that's, uh, where was that? Near Port Gregory. Uh, There's a salt lake on the way. Yeah. There was two times where we got caught on that trip. Two hairy times. Yeah. Um, That was in the mud pit. Got that on footage. So that was... Kreber got stuck, Gary got stuck trying to get him out, Mitch got stuck trying to get Gary out, and then I was the only one on dryer, so yeah, it just took about four hours. Yeah. So it only took us three out of four to figure out that we shouldn't be getting that close to each yeah. other. But... Yeah, they do <laughs> yeah, say that. Exactly. Don't. So if you, if you are sort of uh, going off for being anywhere near a salt lake, the uh, the tip is to just look at it from a distance, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. It's tempting because yeah. it's flat. Take the drone over. It looks, I don't even think it, it was looks a salt good, lake. I think it was just a crystallised yeah. salt layer that... And mud underneath. Yeah, it yeah. was just. You typically full. like that. There's a place. Um, what's it called? Um, Ningen Station. It's oh, full of salt still yet lakes. To get there, I can't wait to go there. It's yeah. um, it's a it's a great place Beautiful. to go. And nice. it, it's um, it's privately owned. So you just oh, you nice. just go in there and you speak to Don. I think his name is. Yep. G'day, Don. And I don't know if they get YouTube out there. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and you you just pay your camping fee, and there's a couple of spots where you know where you have to camp. You can't yeah. just go anywhere. Yeah. But there's salt lakes out there, and you know there's a lot of sort of the touristy four wheel drivers. You know they come here by a, an old four and head yeah. north, and that might be one of the places they yeah. go. Think and they can it get looks anywhere. great, yeah. doesn't it? It almost looks like you'd land an aeroplane on it. Yeah, but, right. You know they're they're just that thin layer, Ugh. and once you get under that, hell, it just sucks. Oh, hell. Yeah. <laughs> so we've had a few. Recoveries, I was just trying to think then. That same trip uh, at Espend, at the very end of the trip where we couldn't go any further, nearly lost Gary's car. Yeah, Remember? that's right. We let the tyres down to five pounds. Whoa. Even mine, I let mine, bag mine right out to like three pounds. And it was still sinking towards the water. But we got a bit of that on film, but that's that was scary. Times Gary's nearly lost that big hundred series yeah. just because they're so heavy. I remember there was one time he's... Jeez. There was a big hill, but you had to hit like a, a, a it was like a 75 degree angle turn off. Yeah. And because of the weight of the 100 series and the V8 revving out, like he was getting the, and then he came and he just edged it over like a drop. Oh, do you remember that? Oh, that's on video, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Got yeah, a few yeah. of them on good videos. Yeah, do you remember actually? my 105 series? Yeah. Yeah, that nearly went down that yeah, embankment. Yeah, that really nearly yep. went down an embankment. They're just bloody heavy. Mm. They are. Um, no, but they're, they're, they're the heaviest. been moment. pretty good. I don't think. No, I haven't yet, yet. Yeah, um, yet. But if we can give any advice from the years of full driving and recovery, the amount of recoveries we've done, rule number one is do not panic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As soon as somebody starts carrying on like a pork chop and panicking, moods change yeah. and the way you act towards somebody change. Mm-hmm. So if yeah. they start carrying on, things can get pretty messy mm-hmm. pretty quickly. Yeah. You relax and you think through it and mm-hmm. you recover slowly. And prep. Yeah. Yeah. Just deep. make sure you... You know how people just get out and literally drop a couple of boards under the back tyres? Yeah. It doesn't work like mm-hmm. that. Nah. Yeah. You need to make sure if the car's going to go down, are you going to are you going to bang, uh, you know, belly it? Mm-hmm. Don't just belly it and then all of a sudden let your tyres down to 10 pound because 10 pound tyres make your belly worse. Mm-hmm. Just people need to realise, think through it properly. Mm-hmm. Get under there, yeah. really chock it with sticks. Yeah. Really put the boards under neatly. Think about it and just... Yeah, work your way through it. And that your exit plan. Like, where that's are you really going? Wise. That, if that, if yeah. you take anything away from anything. today, <laughs> that, that's probably yeah. the best advice. Yeah. Like that, you know, you hear it plenty of times where they say, just stop and make yourself a coffee. Or a yeah, of exactly. And I yeah. agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Not unless the waves are washing on your car. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That, other, <laughs> yeah. other than that, yeah, that's, that's, when, when, that's yeah. when people panic. And yeah. when you panic, situations go from bad to worse. Yeah, dead on dude. And you start breaking recovery gear and you start breaking vehicles. And you can't help but think there's some sort of rush, like, you know, when you're stuck. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, quick, quick, let's just get it out. Yeah. Obviously, you want to keep going. Yeah, of course. Um, but, yeah, like, exactly that. That you, you start to just make these calls that are just a bit stupid. You yeah. Know, or, yeah or, or, you're not thinking straight. The other thing, too, is, like, 
you try and use as little gear as possible and build yeah, up instead of putting there. the effort yeah. in yeah. and recovering properly. Yeah. So you get a shovel. That so didn't I'm work. saying people. That didn't yeah, work. People, exactly. the because like I reckon we're very good on sand. I've seen people they just get onto sand, they belly out and they get out and let their tires down. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, letting tyres down helps, but not if all four are sitting in the air spinning. Yeah, yeah. You need to dig out from under the belly, make sure you've got sticks, bush, scrub, anything. tin, wood, anything you can get under them tyres. Yeah. Um, not just forwards, also, you know, in the backwards. Yeah. It's one of the best recovery methods I've ever seen in soft sand is getting a bucket right. and tipping the salt water from the ocean into the hole so the sand goes wet and more compact. Yeah. One of the best ways I've ever seen a four-wheel drive recovered was like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um... But yeah, like people get lazy. Instead of putting the recovery shackle in, they yeah. go off the toe balls. Yeah. We've, we've, we've been, been guilty a sucker of that. For You've it. done 100%. Oh, in the early days, we, we were have, suckers yep. for it. When Jeez. it's 40 degrees, you're sweating, you're getting yeah. burnt. You just want to get that snatch strap yeah. on. You know, nobody wants to go and get the shackle. Nobody yeah. wants to put the. Uh, yep. you know. And we'll own it. I'll absolutely own that. We've we, done we that. Did the wrong thing. We'll, you know, anybody out there that says they have never recovered off a toe ball, even in their early days, like Malcolm Douglas days and stuff like that. Well, that used to be acceptable, didn't it? The um the amount of videos now that are out there mm -hmm. of, of them going wrong and there's been people oh, killed. Geez. I mean, oh, put, I know. put it this way: we never had interchangeable toe balls back in them yeah. days. No. Yeah. every yeah. toe ball was a tongue and ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every recovery was done off the toe ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it you know it's, it's like flying an airplane. The safest house is till one drops out. Of yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's literally um, a cannonball. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I mean, like with Bryce's, we had um, when we were recovering that it was like just strategy. Yeah. Flannos, flannos uh, laying over the winch cable. Yeah, so, the same you know, thing. just things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, stop yeah it. just small things. And if I can urge anyone, if you guys want to know anything about any sort of recovery, we will try and help as much as we can. Yeah, of course. Um, but my number one rule is do not lose your cool. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's it. it. I've seen it, and it, it can turn a group of friends against each other yeah, true. In, a, in a recovery situation. It is amazing yeah. how quickly you get a bit hot-headed, isn't it? Hot-headed, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And then you're laughing about it an hour later and giving each other a bit of curry. Feeling a bit bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. feeling bad, but um, don't lose your call. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, and very think wise, your way through very it. Wise. Yep. And if, if you think by continually trying to recover it on your own, you're making things worse, you are. Mm -hmm. Stop and wait for help. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If you can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you... you if you're out, out for a drive and you're not in any rush, you know, no, you might, not. You're it out is, there for a good time. You might have a place you need to, you want to get to for camp, but yeah, you, you break down. And if you're on your happens, own in the middle of nowhere, you've got all the stuff with you anyway. Yeah, shouldn't exactly. Have been, shouldn't yep. have been on your own anyway, because mm. we've got a rule as well. If yeah. you go for driving, you always go in a pair. Yeah, Very try true. not go yeah. solo. Uh, you've not... made the sucker of doing the tow ball thing. I've been a sucker of going alone, and yep. in fact, not only alone, that, though, I went alone with my boys and got stuck. Yeah. So oh, that right. Was, yeah, that was, that was, you know, yeah, no, like, totally I own that people. one. That was a big mistake. Um, and I knew. Yeah, but a lot of people do they it. Do, they do. They do. go solo. Oh, and yeah. 99.9% of the time, you never come unstuck. But yeah, exactly. one time. Yeah, and that was exactly. And luckily, I was a K from the road. Yeah. Um, and oh, a bunch okay, of yeah. bike riders came through. They yep. couldn't help me because they're on, you know, yep. bikes. But um, okay. I just walked up and, like, I clearly kind of looked a bit out of place in the middle of course. I wasn't too far from the city. I was around here somewhere. Yeah. I was sort of. I guess roughly Chidlo area. Anyway. Yeah, right. And uh, one of the first cars saw me did a Yui and came down here to Forby and I had a snatch, so got out. I wasn't that that stuck, but it does go to show you that you could. Yeah, that, I mean, if if you plan for something to go wrong, that then you're covered yeah. because things do. It's like if you yeah. if you go if you're going to start four wheel driving, yeah. part of it of the deal is getting stuck. But then oh, that's definitely. part of the fun. I mean, otherwise, exactly. Oh, absolutely, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't be more right. And more knowledge the merrier. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and as well, in a group, yeah. you've got the bonding thing going exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's more fun. Yeah, we wouldn't leave without anyone else's car. No matter who was with us, we were all put in. Yeah, to yeah. Get, get yeah. Out. that's right, yeah. Never leave a man down. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this anyway, based on the videos, but beach or bush? Beach summer, bush winter. Bang on. Yeah, bang on. Yeah, Couldn't that's argue that's it. a nice quick answer for you. Because yeah. I know you've sort of a, a lot of videos are beach, and when you have gone away from the beach, you've always looked so stoked to be. Oh. You, know, you know, like oh, when we man, first started we could... off, we did all beach, all yeah. beach. We we haven't started doing bush until last year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. first few years before that was always beach, yeah. and then we just realised there's a whole another world. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But um, what do you prefer? Uh, beach. I love. I love sand. Yeah. Love dunes. Love. I love looking at water yeah. at the coast when I'm. 
I like hearing the ocean when I go to mm. sleep. Yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. What about you, Mitch? Yeah, beach. Oh yeah. shit, I thought you were going to say I don't beach. like you know, you know, right on the beach, how you got I don't like real coast, loose coast coast camping. Yeah. I need to be back from it. Back yeah. from the but dunes where you've still got sand but it's quite compact and mm. level. That's I love it. that yeah. sort of yeah, camping. Yeah, same here. Like during Bay when we used to do the massive boys trips with like eighteen of us. Yep. Um, sitting back in them. Oh, that was beautiful. You know, that's wasn't beautiful it? beach. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, no. the beach. I'm, Afternoon, I'm you. you grab stubbies and you. head up the beach. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the beach, but then you know there there are those sort of the you know the Holland Track and the Wheat Belt and all that. It's oh, yeah. and you go at the right time, like yeah. we were saying before. You know, oh, you don't want to go at the wrong time. And you know, I never thought I'd be someone who would be like get excited about the wildflower season. It no, bit, no, so da, da, da. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> it's not only that. I mean, yeah, you get flowers and stuff, but it's when the the bush looks just. You know, it doesn't oh, look like that any other time up, of year. It? And, yeah. and um, it's just a, it's a different experience. I yeah. mean, the beach is always different, but, you know, south is fantastic. And mix it up, a bit of bush. Exactly. You've got Love it. You've got to mix it up. Yeah. It's like a, like a healthy diet. It yeah. is, isn't it? The beaches are sometimes <laughs> Still haven't got a hold of that one yet, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so dream track that you guys haven't done yet. Oh, I'm going to say mine's interstate. Yeah? No, sorry, I'll take that back. Kimberley's. I'm, oh, I'd yeah. like to do... Yeah. Maybe the Munja track, something a bit really challenging that I can really put my nose into, film it, get all the boys together, go hardcore, prep the car for it. That's mine. My Maybe. bucket list item. Yeah, uh, I want to do Arnhem Land. Oh, no. Nice. I definitely want yeah. to do Arnhem Land before I uh, go underneath. Yep. Um, and one place there. I've never been to yet is Esperance. I know you said track. I've sort of gone off the track no, there. No, all area. It, yep. um, what's is that track that runs like through right? up oh, yeah. to the Kimberleys where Schmidt and all that went? Not Gib River Road? Gib River oh, Road. Yes. I'd love to do yeah. Gib River Road. Yeah. Um, once again, I think you'd have to have your car well prepped for that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I've well, never been to Esperance. You're not going to have one at the end. I'd love to go, <laughs> yeah. Rattle apart. I'd yeah. love to go to Esperance um, down south, and I definitely want to do the Arnhem Land up. Yeah, but these are all things that we, we we still got to do that we haven't seen in our own freaking backyard, you know. But yeah. yeah. Oh, it's. I don't think you really can. I mean, it's no. Just, I agree. Isn't I WA one of those places where like, I look at my Hamer and I record everywhere I go? Yeah. I, I feel I like I've covered like, a lot, but I'm covering I, nothing. You zoom out. It's, it's like it's like the CBD. You're still <laughs> yeah. there. You haven't. You know, even yeah. though you might have travelled six hours north. Yeah. The, you haven't state, gone bush. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's just phenomenal. Yeah, it you, is. I don't think unless you start seeing the place like that in a car i mean yep. if you fly you can kind of get an idea but being on the ground and just seeing i mean oh, this yeah. area where we are today i've done countless tracks around here but i haven't been here i know you i know, know. same here it's same just here endless but it's, it's a great feeling yeah. to know that there's yeah. a shit load out there you we haven't have never seen. Have done it you, yep yeah all right so all right here's a good one so have you guys ever had a tire come off your rim no not at all <laughs> we've had two Within an hour, hey Mitch. Is yeah, you'll see on one of the videos. Was it Gazzas? Uh, uh, yeah, Gazzas, yeah, in the subscriber video. I've seen one. Yeah. It's not recommended. Not recommended. Absolutely not. And we did say that. We did say we, that. We don't carry cans of links on us just for our odour. <laughs> yeah. They are the best tyre recovery. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you aerosol. what, it's not recommended, but geez, it's entertaining and it's quick. It was performed <laughs> by professionals. Yeah, yeah professionals. <laughs> <laughs> we have got our dealer's licence one to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we now distribute links. Do you know what? None of us actually thought that was going to... No, we thought we'd just try it, Dan. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. yeah. Well, we just that, I've always I'll... thought that's just an urban myth. No, yep. so yep. did I. So did I. One of our mates was adamant he'd done it many times before, wow. Kreber. Yep. And he, and, uh, and he did and it. You know, to Charmer, and I always carry a little can of links in my glove box or my rear. Yeah, doors. good I idea. I guess it's one yeah. of those you could go to a bit too much. You know, yeah. a bit yeah, too yeah, much yeah. fine, but a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. it's just your eyebrows. Yeah, you just... <laughs> yeah exactly right. Only your knuckle hairs. Yeah, I got plenty to lose. <laughs> <laughs> it might actually be an Shut up, bro. <laughs> So also another thing that you guys have done is reviewed stuff yep. either, either that you've bought or that you've sort of you've been given a few things yeah, as well yeah reviewed, absolutely we have. so yep. talk us through the well, first of all the sort of um response that you've got from it yep. and um and and what stuff that you you recommend or that you've okay about. um this is going to sound so biased because we absolutely have been given these bags for nothing um but i would still pay to, ap to have them. They're absolutely brilliant. I, I, the oh, whole I company me grab me again. You go and buy something. All right. To, no, <laughs> you know I would. No, you know we've all would. yeah. No, we've all got um, bags from Jimmy from Grab My Gear. Yep. Uh, I used to camp without bags like that. 
oh, I couldn't go back yeah. to camping no, without bags. No, like no, that. Right. phenomenal. We're so even looking into getting. They're just a. It's 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 a can. He's got a whole range of canvas bags. Yeah. Uh, with clear top so you can see what's in them. So they're, they're made to like specific sizes that'll fit every draw system that you have. Or you could put... I, I put my camera gear in them. Um, I put clothes in a in a bigger bag. You know, it's just freaking hell. Now I'm obsessed with them, but... Um, no, yeah. just amazing. And we're even looking at getting him to make up some bags specifically for what we need because he does all custom oh, he's gear. Great and so, yeah. Um, so if he has swag bags, you know how... You, swag bag... Swag never goes back in its original bag. Never. Ours somehow does. We got friends that don't, so we're putting them onto Jimmy to get custom made yep. canvas bags, a little bit bigger than the factory ones, stuff like that. Or if you've got, uh, you've lost your drone or your camera equipment yep. box. Oh, beauty! Yeah. He'll make up foam padded bags oh, for nice, you, stuff yeah. like that. Oh, we'll, we'll maybe stick a link in. Oh, definitely. Yeah, no, mate. He's a really great guy too. From what Pete's told me, I've Can't actually never met him. Hopefully, no, get him on that will. big camp trip. So local, yeah. local company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, locally made in Midland. Wow. Locally owned. He just started. He just had a career change, mate. Just. Um, he was working HR, I'm pretty sure, in a company. I hope I'm all right to say this, Jimmy. Um, and then he went to jail for... No, I'm only joking. No, um, <laughs> no uh, and then he just got into this because he loves camping. And you can see it when you speak to him. Guy, guy's full of passion. But the reason we review our channel, uh, as you know, Dan, we're about our trips and mainly our reviews. We want to get into some, some different stuff, which is coming up. But we're not a how-to channel. Mm -hmm. We're not a how-to. This is how you fall drive because... You know, I, I feel like, you know, There's I don't, yeah, there is, mm. there is already, people like yourself are covering that wow. lovely, and I, 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 I love how you do it, I, I just feel like I wouldn't explain it as well as you, you know? right. <laughs> here we go, throw it on the bloody toe ball, you'll be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no that's, just watch I've watched enjoy. that video, yeah, that didn't work for me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you need a new windscreen. <laughs> and back window. Yeah. <laughs> what other stuff have you, have you reviewed? I've basically reviewed most of the stuff on my car. Um, I reviewed Earth Tracks light. Um, I'm going to review their lights. Yeah. Um, and again, we got given them lights, but I will. I'm not going to hold back. Like, you've got to say what's wrong with them. You've got to say what's right with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do that on purpose at all, did you? <laughs> Earth Track have been. Wow, great. they're bright. No. <laughs> Earth Track have been yeah. great for us from the start. Yep. Um, we approached them. After seeing that camp light, yep, uh, met Dave, and Barry, Barry, yep, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and um, the the father as well. Yep, um, they've been fantastic. They've uh, kitted out Pete's car with side lights, rear lights, light bar spotties. They've also given me lights. Once I get my new car, I'll be fitting them out on that. Mm -hmm. Uh, camp lights, they give us giveaways uh, for competitions. Dave's a really nice guy. He loves camping. He's been on our trips with us, you oh, know, yeah. and he, it's just great when they share that love, you know. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, it's they've good. been tremendous as yeah. a, uh, probably like a f one of our first off sponsors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've given us a go because we're, um, we're freaking this big. That's... They've given us a shot. You yeah, know? That's... Recently, we've also had, um, what's the gentleman's name that sent these? Oh, lots? Simon. Simon from Dawn Mowers. Simon from Dawn Mowers over in Sydney has sent us these beautiful, uh, these are actually log splitters. The brand is called Grand's, Grand's Fools Bruck. Bruck and they're from Sweden and I know they're Whoa. Swedish forge steel and yep. sharpen And American heads. hickory. American hickory smoked handles. Yep. They're not a cheap... We're talking Vikings no. here, aren't we? No, yeah. no. Jesus. No, but he was a just a guy that was watching hammer. us, Dan. Um, yeah, He was wow. just a guy who, who was watching us, and he goes, look, I own a shop. Can I send you these? Try them out. Sweet. He goes, do not operate them with beer. Like, honestly, he goes, they'll, they'll yeah. cut your leg. They'll shave yes. skin straight so off. They're, they're brilliant. We're looking forward to doing a review on them. Yeah, of course. Uh, Need a shave. Yeah. Giving him a so, shout-out on our channel. Yeah, we will. Uh, cut Snake Flares. They've been good to us. Yeah. Shirts, stickers. Known him for years, flares. actually. They were, one, they were probably the first mm. before Earth Trek. He was, yeah. He was We're the just, first one to give us a bit of love. Yep. Just good uh, people. Yep. You know, good people that we wouldn't get involved with, you know, idiots. But yeah. um, And we also don't want the brands to ever take over yeah. anything of what we're doing. I'll yeah. never change yeah. what we're doing yeah. at all. Unless yeah. you'd like to send us cash yeah. directly. Yep, 100%. And then yeah. we'll just And we'll put in the bank details sell, of BSB. Yeah. And, and we'll <laughs> We're we'll starting to count together. You'll see, yeah. Yeah. you'll see a link to our bank details <laughs> at the bottom there. But no, these no. are all just great people that have just given us a leg up. Um, we, yep. We're not going to retire off any of the products they've given no. us, yeah. but they've made our life easier 100%. and better. Yep. Um, like Earth Track, for instance, they're going forward leaps and bounds now. Yeah, they're they're just, uh, don't know if I should be saying this, but they've just 
started. Well, they're going to be releasing some uh, some new products. Drive products. Right. So, I think there's fridges. Yep. There's another wow. model yep. light. Mark II light. Um, their their light bars and that are going next level as well. Yeah, beautiful. Um, spotties. They do everything. So they do all the sports lighting for stadiums. All right. Um, tower lighting for mine sites. Stuff like that. They're, um, they're actually quite a big company. Yeah, right. Um, family owned good. and operated. Yeah, just Australian. Good um, great people. But yeah, yeah, everyone's given us a good chance. We're just waiting for. I think it was BCF. And, Angle. Yeah, wow. maybe C do if they can yes. just give us yeah. a couple C-Doo. of bucks. Right. That's okay. all we want, oh, mate. Stacey Tinnies, Yamaha Stacey Tinnies. Boys, and BF Goodrich tyres. <laughs> right, yeah. You mentioned C do as well. Yeah. Is that one of them? You want jet skis? Yeah, 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 just a few. It, oh, we don't just ask something for much, then, you know? <laughs> it just helps in the production. Just something exactly. we can flip and crash. <laughs> Abrolis Islands. Yep. That trip looked awesome. I missed out on that one, nah. unfortunately. Yep, missed um, out. I mean, I, it didn't look that good. It was. Yeah. I, I, oh, it sucked, me. Don't worry. I thought it was shit. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, all that crayfish. And, <laughs> yeah. But the uh, yeah, that's kind of your thing, right there. Wasn't yeah, it? I missed oh, out on that. Stiff. I think I can't even remember why. Oh, I know it was my wife's operation. birthday, or my son's birthday. Could have even been Stevens. an operation I had. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, I missed out on that one. Uh, Must have been a bloody good excuse. Just another excuse to go back, yeah. So, mm. yep. yeah, Pete, true. Pete's the man to talk to about this one. With well, the um, the drone footage on that was, oh, was I love the drone amazing. footage, but geez. off a boat. Was <laughs> yeah, that was the next thing I was going to mention. Th- that's um, that's a real challenge, isn't oh, it? Oh my god, you... absolutely, Dan. Um, the fact is that we'd have to make sure it's a nice, calm day. Yeah, and but there was one point where uh, I'd been flying around for ten minutes. The weather turned, and then oh man, it's so hard. I had to get up the front of the boat and just sort of. You just wait. You have to wait until it's at the right spot. Then you grab it, and then, then you tip it on its side and, and turn it off. It's scary. Getting it back. Yeah, yeah. That that's the scary part. Like taking off, easy. Yeah. No worries. The but home, getting it the back. The return home thing. How yeah, does that thing, work? You know how that pops up. I have yeah. to just cancel it. Right. Yeah. It says oh, I'm returning home, but I'll go cancel. Because I've heard and return it to me. Stories of like like I mean oh, your drone yeah. is an expensive drone, but I've yeah. also heard these you know these sort of semi-industrial ones. Oh, no. And they, they go, oh, you know, I'm running out of battery. Yep. They're having trouble or whatever, and it will go home, which is just the bottom of the ocean. I know. Oh, God. And, like, trying yeah, to race back. Like, water. they know it's going back, and they, they turn the boat around and watch it. It's... Oh, that would break my heart. So, break my bloody heart. I but like I, flying drones, but, oh, man, a boat. I know, I know. But the thing is, on switch. mine, I can set the controller to be the home point, yeah. which okay, is really yeah, good. Yeah. So yeah, that's I think lucky. I can do that on my one. I've yeah, just you never will. tried that. It's, no, no. I haven't delved in there. Half so of the you, you're the drone pilot then for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I've I've just learnt that on my own um, and watching other people on theirs. But I th- I think the the key to drone footage is don't turn much. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it yeah, in definitely. diagonals. Keep it in a straight line. Pan the camera up a little bit. Less That's is it. more. Definitely. Exactly. And and not. I mean, when I first got mine, it was fly it up. You know, as hard as it will go. Yep. See what this thing can do. Yeah, and then and then <laughs> just like look around. Yeah, Look that's down. it. Yeah, exactly. But then there's a lot to be said for like just being a bit higher than than you can get with a camera. Yeah, definitely. following a car or you know. Oh, or, or I've seen like it in your videos many a time where you're walking along and it's just behind you. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's when great you haven't got footage. someone to film you. Yep. And in fact, I've used it before as a steady cam. Yeah. So just holding it with the camera. Hundred percent. People then always got, do that. Before, yeah. I mean, I've got a GoPro now, but I used yep. to use that if it was you know rocky or whatever, or just yep. driving in the car. Yeah, it's a good but, idea. And, and it's you, still have you 4K? driven and flown a drone? That's in, that's that's absolutely. I have most of the not on the road. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Most of the footage you have when I don't have a passenger, all the um, drone footage is while I'm That's driving. That's impressive. Yeah. Footage... But again, it's the angles. If, yeah. if I'm, I'm I'm just looking at the road, going like that with the thumb controller, just diagonals, and yeah. it just creates the angle for yeah. you. You know. Yeah. But yeah. That they, they have. They have. I mean, it's going to be amazing what comes out next. Because I mean, it wasn't that long ago that that was something that was just going to oh, be in the future, and we'd tell have me Terminator about walking around. Geez. And, and you got people incredible. skiing off of. Yeah, and fishing, <laughs> fishing. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Fishing. Yeah, yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? Actually, I follow a good channel that does um, drone fishing, Sharky Shepo. Check out that channel; you'll love it. There we go. Stick Absolutely a link. awesome. I like to sort of talk about the people that are just starting out because I'm not a, yeah. I'm not a, you know, a seasoned expert that knows. I mean, I'd Nor like to we. say, I, yeah, I know. Nor are we, eh, Mitch? I would like to say I know zero. Uh, the only, the only experience I have is from from what I've done. I mean, I started out, I just. I think I went off with my brother four wheel drive, and then yeah. I knew nothing. Yeah. yeah, and that was literally learning to put it in four wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know, 
letting tires down, all that sort of thing. Yep. But what I did realise from that is a lot of people are put off because you need to know someone. Of course, you know yeah. who knows what they're on about. Because if course. you if you try and go off road without knowing how to do it, I mean, it's it's you're it's asking a recipe, for it. yeah. And YouTube's great. Recipe. There's lots of stuff on YouTube. But yep. um, the very first time someone going out, um, what what sort of things would you say to them pre their very first time off road? Oh, like I would say, take it easy, man. Like just. Take it easy, go slow. I'd recommend a place to go, like yeah. Wilbinger. That is right. perfect. Yeah. Perfect for beginners. Yeah, we um, started at um, Pippadini. Pippadini, that's we right. We started at Pippadini, a lot of our extreme four wheel driving. Um, before, it's now all houses. Right, yeah. That's all houses mm. now, Alchemos. Sadly, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> preparation. Yep. Make sure you've got everything. Don't go alone. Yeah, Do not go alone. Definitely, yep. So when I say two cars, road, definitely not not yeah. just not just two people in one car, two yeah. cars. Yeah. yeah, it's good having definitely. a second digger, but it's better having a second car. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> maintenance. Maintenance. Make sure your car can do what you're going to ask it to mm -hmm. do. Mm. There's no use having a four cylinder trying to hit a 900 degree massive 400 Hill. meter yeah. mm -hmm. June climb. Cow cup hill. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yes. in a Suzuki Sierra because it just won't do it. And you're going to blow things up trying mm -hmm, yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. um, just private. take it slow. Yeah, yeah I'll just, just take it slow. Don't go crazy on your first day. Have fun. Just yeah. chill out and enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd suggest something like, you know, like as simple as a fire break track. Oh, you definitely. Know, because if you've never been off road, that's going to be exciting yeah. in itself. And yeah. there's so many fire yeah. tracks. In fact, I think that new um, Mundaring to Albany the track. Mundo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that would be a good uh, starter. Yeah. Perfect. That's a couple of... Well, they recommend, I think, something like five days if you're going to take it yeah. slowly. Yeah, of course. Because it's not like you're down the highway to Albany. It's, no. It, and and you're taking in all the sites, all the campsites. I, yep. From what I understand, I haven't done it yet, and I really, yep. I'm dying to Sign do it. Sign me up. Is... Um, is to sort of, a lot of it I think is using the fire break tracks around there, but somewhere where you you, you stick it in high range, you know, even yeah, if exactly. even if you're not having to, you know, the car's not necessarily needing it, yeah, getting used yeah, to get that. used to the gearing and and uh, you know, get air down your tires, inflate yeah. your tires, yeah. um, go for a camp overnight somewhere that's not too far yeah. away. Try and know? go with someone who's got a bit of experience yeah, and you'll definitely. learn a, yeah. a wealth of knowledge. Through and that. and doing it. The, the thing is, I think it was Ruthie who said it was rather than looking at getting all the gear, save that money for the fuel. You know, oh, use it so to right. see the place. You don't need you need somewhere to sleep, like the the basic shelter. Yep. Um. You know, obviously a working car that that mechanically don't go out if you're not sure about your car mechanically. Exactly. Yep. Um. But it doesn't have to be a true off road beast. No, you know, it there's doesn't. plenty no. of. I mean, it's, yep. I mean, the market now is flooded with like the the Utes. You know, yeah, the four drive definitely. Utes. There's so many, and they're they're perfectly fine. A hundred. I don't think you could you could spend literally, what. Three, four grand on something basic, and you basic. get a nice bloody sound automobile. And off you go. You need yep. a tent, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, and you have the time of your life. And then, and, and you know, sorry once you get the bug because it, it's it's an yep. addiction. Yeah, I was just going to mention the bug Literally, my as well. heroine is camping and. Yep, I agree. I agree. Yep, I agree. Well, Far I reckon. Right. I reckon that's um, that's about it. Dan, thank you so much for Not having a problem. us, mate. Thank you really for coming. And, uh, it Champion, was, mate. Thanks it was so great much. to finally meet no, you guys. No, it will. And, and we're going to keep in touch, man. Definitely, Let's get some trips definitely. going. So if you haven't seen these guys, uh, you know, definitely, definitely check them out. They're, um, they've got heaps and heaps of awesome, awesome stuff. I've, uh, I've spent ages now trying to watch all the content there's just so much and good good quality stuff have so, a break though it's a lot to look at i know <laughs> don't don't try it all at once but uh yeah if you haven't check them out subscribe like their stuff comment they've got a great community and it's not just them talking on there it's the other guys in there and they're a great bunch of people so watching thanks. and of course if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i'm dan this is epic drives western australia catch ya done on you dan well done, that mate. was mint mate